Hey Stalker, Evan from Stalk Music Musician. Today I've got a great video where we're going to take a deep dive into one of the new effects in Reason 11, the quartet. This is sort of a chorus with multiple different types of chorusing effects. We'll first do a quick overview of what a chorus is, uh, at least the basic chorus, then we'll dig into what all the controls do for each feature. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest Reason news, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be teaching you all about it. If you've got any questions about what you'd like me to cover, leave a note below. If I mess something up, let me know. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's just talk about what chorusing is to begin with. The basic idea of a chorus is that you take a copy of a sound and move it slightly, and that creates sort of phase cancellation and interesting effects, and then the amount that you move it by changes, and that creates a pleasant, it's like a copy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got the chorus here, but I've actually, I'm going to mute the chorus on this channel, and instead I've made a copy, uh, I've, I've actually gone ahead and made a copy. So let's first listen to the original version. This is just what the song sounds like, totally unprocessed. <laughs> So that's what the song sounds like, this, the guitar part sounds like, unprocessed. Now this is what it sounds like when there's two of them playing. That's just twice as loud. But now let's see what happens if I move the position of the second one here. You hear that? And now let's see what happens if I keep moving the position of it, which is really what a chorus does. So that's basically a chorus in a nutshell. So how do we actually apply that and use it to create soothing, cool effects? So I've muted the duplicate, and now let's just put the quartet on the first channel here. So now we've got the solo guitar one with the chorus, quartet chorus plugin. So you've got a wet dry knob here. Even with this, with this particular plugin, wet isn't 100% wet, but generally with chorus effects, what, because you're, you're shifting one signal relative to another, you get the best results by keeping it usually around 50-50. That's a good place to start off with on the wet dry. So let's see what this sounds like here. And let's turn this up. Now. So delay is just how far the initial amount is from where you start, right? This is right there. And actually, let's turn all these other things off. Um, oh, and I also wanted to remind you, if you are just want to get to learn more about Reason, if you want to get better at it, I've put together a free cheat sheet on how to use Reason. Uh, you can go down below and download it. It's got just like all the top level stuff you need to know about all the devices in Reason. So go download that and it'll totally turbocharge your learning. Okay, uh, so delay is how far apart, how far back it is to begin with. The mod depth is how much it moves left or right every time it moves. And the mod rate is how quickly it moves. So we'll just do a very extreme depths sound pretty bad with the chorus in my head. So the mod rate is how quickly it moves. And the mod depth is how much it moves. And generally these are best on the lower side. And then what feedback does is it takes the signal and puts it back in so it makes it even more true. You hear that? And width is just the stereo width. You can 
can also run it in dual mono. You hear at these higher rates with more feedback. You can get these really weird, extreme, spacey glitches. And if that's what you want, great. But usually, you're really best off keeping everything kind of just low and gentle. And chorus is the type of effect that's better heard and, or best in moderation. It's kind of, you don't want it to be too visible. Um, so now let's just look at some of the other plugins or versions, right? Because there's four different implementations of Quartet and they all have slightly different controls. So BBD is supposed to be a bucket brigade delay where um, basically multiple copies are created simultaneously and then modulation occurs. I've been told by uh, Mr. Jiggery Pokey, who makes a really good bucket brigade delay rack extension for reason called Chenille, that this is not a true bucket brigade delay. It's sort of a cheap knockoff of it. And I believe it. His sounds really good and it's pretty affordable. But to me, this also sounds usable. Um, this is a sound that I think is pretty usable. So here, pretty much all of the controls are exactly the same, except that instead of feedback, you have noise mod, which I think also just affects the filtering of the copies. And I believe BBD makes three copies. So it's a, everything at 25%. Compare it to the chorus, let's dial in the same. These are the same basic settings here, so. It's a little more shimmering. Let's turn off the effect a little bit more. Just Isolate the sound effect. Let's go all the way. This is more like cottony and smooth. And this is more like decaying and shimmery, is how I would describe it. Now you've got, I think this is like forward furrier transformation or something, FFT. And what this does is this actually cuts the signal into different frequency ranges, and so it only is chorusing those frequency ranges, so like only the top part or only the low part. Um, this is the range of frequencies being affected. And this is the size, and I think, as I recall, number one is like the most accurate. Um, it doesn't affect the sound as much, or as four, um, I think, like, cuts the sound up in a way that makes it less realistic, but I could have that backwards. So let's take a listen. And then again, mod depth is just how extreme it is and with and dry wet. So So like here we only have the high frequencies. That sounds a little more percussive to me at one versus that can be really useful to help certain instruments sit in the mix. Um, and then finally we have grain, which is like a takeoff on the grain instrument in Reason, where it cuts the sound into a bunch of different grains or slices of music and plays them back and processes them in a certain way. Um, and so... This here controls how big the grain is, and the more, the bigger it is, the less gaps they're gonna be, and the more realistic and neutral it's gonna sound. Again, the mod depth is just gonna be 
how they're being shifted over time, how big it is. Jitter is it makes them uh, jitter literally. So instead, normally in the chorus, the mod rate is smoothly and consistently uh, modulating the time difference. But with jitter, it's jumping around, and you'll hear it. It's a very cool and interesting modern sound. And then density, I believe, is just how much of it there is. So let's listen just full on grain. Here you can hear these are the really small grain, so it's much more pronounced. And let's get it really jittery. And then random phase will create a bit of a phase effect. So let's get a more neutral sound. And if we put the jitter on it. So there you have it. These are sort of the four ways of applying grain. Hopefully this gives you some insight on how to get started and also how to start using this cool new plugin to take your productions to where you want to take them. Choruses are really good on pads, also on strummed things like acoustic guitars. They can help take the edge off and just warm things up. Don't forget to download your free Reason Cheat Sheet at the link below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more great Reason 11 content. Thanks so much.